Hey guys, this is Yashika, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an order bump product onto your ClickFunnels order page. Now, this is an additional product for your customer directly on your order page. Now, before you get started, you will need to have a ClickFunnels order page created inside of your funnel, and you'll also need to have at least one main product that you're selling on your ClickFunnels order page. Please check out our help document that will walk you through the process of getting everything that you need set up correctly. Once you have everything that you need set up, now we can go ahead and create our order bump product on our ClickFunnels order page. So you can go up here to the ClickFunnels menu and then click on funnels to locate your funnel. Or if you have a favorite funnel from your dashboard, you can go ahead and click on it to open your funnel. Once you're inside of your funnel, you want to go ahead and select your order page step. Once you have that selected, now you want to go ahead and click on the products tab. And then from here, we'll go ahead and add in our order bump product. Please notice again that we already have our main product created in this example. So you want to be sure that you have that created before you add on your add on your order bump product. So next, go ahead and click on the add product button. And then now we'll go ahead and add in our order bump product details. So first we'll select our payment integration. Then we'll select one time payment at the time of this recording an order bump cannot have a subscription or payment plan. Next, you want to go ahead and click on save and next. And then now we want to go ahead and add in our order bump product name. We want to give the order bump a price. You can add a price display override if needed, as well as your shipping and billing and product description information. Now, the next thing we have to do to make this an order bump is go ahead and turn on this toggle for the product to be an order bump on the order page. Then next, we want to go ahead and click on save and next. And from here, our order bump product has been created. Now you can continue on the process for adding in your fulfillment email, your follow-up actions, and your shipping actions as needed. Once you're finished, just go ahead and click on save and close. Now that the product has been created, we have to go ahead and add the order bump to our order page. So now let's go ahead and click on edit page. And then now we want to go ahead and add the order bump element to the page. Typically, the order bump element can go right above um, the button on your page or right below your credit card field. However, you can pretty much add it wherever you'd like. So in this case, I'm going to place the order bump right below our credit card element on the page. So I'm going to hover over the credit card element until the orange border shows and go ahead and click on the plus sign to add a new element. From here in the element list, you want to just go ahead and click on order bump. And now you'll see the order bump has been added to this page. Now let's go ahead and edit the order bump by hovering over the order bump element until the orange border shows and then click on settings. So from here, you can go ahead and adjust the settings for your order bump. You can go ahead and adjust the headline. You can adjust the OTO headline. So this portion here, you can also adjust the headline text. And then you have a bunch of other settings here that you can change as far as your order bump. So let's say if I wanted this to be orange instead of yellow, I can do that. I can also change the background of the entire thing. So if for some reason I wanted it to be completely green, I could do that as well. And then you have more advanced options that you can do for your order bump element as well. So once you're finished with that, then you just go ahead and save the page. And now when a customer goes, to purchase your main product, they'll have the option of checking this box to be able to add on the order bump product. Now I want to show you how the order bump element is added to a two-step order page. So on the two-step order page, you would follow the same process in terms of creating your product. So you would select the step where you have your two-step order page, and then you would go ahead and click on products. From here, you would follow the same pro process and be able to create your order bump product as well as your main product. Next, inside of the two-step order page, you wanna go ahead and click on edit page. 
And once the page loads, then we'll want to go ahead and click on the two step order element to open up the settings. Then you want to go ahead and click on advanced. And then you'll see this section that says toggle order bump. So we want to go ahead and click on show order bump. And then we want to go back to the settings tab here, click on step two, and you'll see the order bump element has been added to this page. And then if you scroll all the way down here in the settings, you'll see the bump headline that you can edit. You'll see the OTO headline that you can edit as well as the OTO text. And then once you're finished with that, all you would just have to do is save the page. And now you also have an order bump element on a two step order page. If you have any questions or run into any trouble at all, please be sure to click on the chat icon to reach out to our support team and they'd be happy to help.